Good morning, Year 10. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. Please could you write the title, theme park project, writing a news article, as well as the date. For you do now, I'd like you to answer the following question. What are some ways you can make a newspaper headline eye-catching and interesting? Pause the video now to do that. Okay, so ways you can make a newspaper headline eye-catching and interesting. You can have a big, bold headline. You can use alliteration. You can have a short, snappy headline. You can use rhyming in your headline. You can use wordplay or puns. Letterplay. Have an especially sombre or humorous um, heading. So a sombre heading would be one that makes you feel very sad or um, very serious. You could use dynamic verbs. So if you didn't get these down, please could you write them down now? Okay, so I'll, what I'd like to do is identify what technique is being used in these headlines. Christmas shoppers stocking up. Which Halloween costume is for you? Pause the video briefly to jot down what you think the technique is. So it is of course puns. Um, a word in a sentence can have two or more meanings and if it's used um, in an amusing way, that is a pun. Okay, what technique is being used in these headlines? Manchester murder mystery solved. Sizzling summer to stay. Pause the video to jot it down. So of course it's alliteration. You've got multiple words starting with the same letter. What about these two? Let's have a garden party. Let us turn up the beat. And well, this is awkward. Pause the video to jot down what you think. It is letter play. Sometimes the writer will change a letter in a word to give it a double meaning, such as truck by lightning, if there was a truck that was struck by lightning. So it makes its point in a very clever way. What technique is being used in this headline? Queen in green. So quite an easy one. Pause the video, jot down the answer. So it's of course rhyme. So now that we've looked at some headings, let's consider moving on to your actual newspaper article. So last lesson you started planning your newspaper article on the fire at your theme park and made notes on the following. What's happened? When did it happen? Where did it happen? Who was involved or witnessed it? Why did it happen? So please make sure you've gone over um, all those questions. You should have also chosen at least three witnesses and decided on what statements they will contribute to your article. And finally, you should have also created a plan for your article that encompasses the following. How the article will be structured, what, when, where, who, why and how, and how your witnesses' comments will be spread throughout the article. I'd like you to spend five minutes reading over your notes from last lesson and adding anything that you didn't include. So, features of a newspaper report. Structural features. You should have a catchy headline. Answer the questions what, when, where, who, why and how. Use quotes from interviews. Talk about the incident in chronological order, so in time order. Use a third person perspective, so not I. Have fairly straightforward sentence structures and a concluding paragraph. So remember, in terms of how you prioritise your information, the lead, the top of the article, is where the most important stuff goes. Say it right away, include the five W's, who, what, where, why, when and how, and hook your readers in. Then you go into the details. Include supporting details and facts in order of importance. This should include context, background and quotes that help tell your story. And finally, the tale. This is the nice to have and fluff, but it's okay if your readers miss it. So any other details, any kind of summary comment or reiteration goes in the tale. So please do make a note of that now. Okay, I'd like you to read the attached newspaper articles and check them against the inverted triangle. You have five to ten minutes to do this now. Okay, let's consider some more features of a newspaper report. Language features. You want time connectives. You talk in the past tense. You want to use emotive language, so language that makes your reader feel something. And you can achieve this through using powerful adjectives, um, well thought out descriptive words. You want to include facts and opinions and use straightforward language so as not to confuse them. 
you want to keep it quite formal because this is quite a formal document and use persuasive persuasive techniques if you are arguing for something but you're not here you're just keeping it factual please copy this down now okay so these are some time connectives you might want to use level three are really basic level one are much more high level so they're the ones you want to be aiming towards so i would advise pausing the video for just a moment to jot down maybe three to five from the level one list okay and it's over to you now so you're going to be writing a newspaper article about the fire in the theme park you're going to use the information gathered from the witnesses you interviewed make sure that the structural and language features discussed are adhered to so make sure you follow them you must have at least one quote from two different witnesses a primary and a secondary witness primaries would usually come, come first do make sure you start with all the important information then have the um, additional details and then finish off with anything else you might want to add. Okay, so over to you. Pause the video for the rest of the lesson to do your article now. Okay, and that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you found it enjoyable and interesting. I'm really looking forward to seeing your finished newspaper articles and I'll speak to you next time.